Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It is 2021. We are off to a rocky start, but I'm not gonna get into it. Just putting it out there. This literally feels like chapter tw chapter two of 2020. So, anyways, I realized that like I really haven't done um, shower or body care routine in 2020. I think in 2019, I actually did like have to like get ready with me stuff, which was like me showing like what I use for like getting the shower and like after the shower, some of the products. So I thought this could be a great way to start 2021. As you know, a lot of us actually have big resolutions or just resolutions, uh, you know, for 2021. So I'm gonna keep saying like 2020. <laughs> like so confused 2021 because I think this year a lot of people you know especially beginning of the every year doesn't matter uh, who you are everyone has like goals related to their body like they want to get fit or they just want to take care of their body you know just like you have to treat your body like a temple and I feel like what's a better way to do it than like just me showing you guys like the routine and this is also something that I recently um, incorporated into my routine so I feel like this would be good for you guys to just um, start it with Okay, so one disclosure I would make in here that like just because I'm showing you guys everything here That doesn't mean that I do this almost every day because some of it I would probably not do it every day. So just putting it out there. So Let's start. So one thing I would recommend this is probably like everyone recommends it too You should start always from top to the bottom when you shower. So when you first get in the shower I always start with my uh, shampoo. So that's the one I start Shampoo that you guys are going to see that I'm using is Drunk Elephant. So this is Drunk Elephant shampoo that like it's very uh, moisturizing and also like kind of like it is it doesn't make it, it's I feel like so soft on your hair. It really makes your hair super soft afterwards. Like I did it like it just you kind of feel like it's like I don't know kind of feels like you you gone after the beach but not like because after the beach your hair feels so dry and kind of feels like uh, like it's been glued into something it doesn't feel like that you, you you feel that like beachy beachy hair but without the that without that part one thing I would say before we get into like a face wash and stuff you probably shouldn't wash shouldn't be washing your hair every day uh, especially for guys because like for girls I guess it differs because they have also longer hair uh, but also just generally for any gender if you have like I guess oily hair that that changes so that really depends uh, so you should wash it based on that but like for guys most of the time from what I have also heard that like most people when they have like hair loss or problem with their hair it's because they wash their hair too much so try to wash your hair like maybe um, a week once a week or maybe max twice a week so I don't I would not recommend washing it every day because that makes your hair super sensitive so hence you might have hair loss and shit so don't do that. Second step I do, hence we are going from top to the bottom, face wash. So face wash or just cleanser. So in this video, I'm actually using a cleanser from Ines Free. So um, I'm trying their blueberry cleanser. It's actually pretty cool. It's like citrus wise, so like pretty nice. Uh, and it also, because I think in the video actually, I did use it quite a bit because for demonstration purposes, I have to say, because I really want to see you guys like the texture, but you probably shouldn't use it that much. Maybe just like one lump not two lump because I used like two lumps so that was you guys can see in the video it was like quite a lot so definitely don't use it that much uh, but it was very foaming and everything so it was pretty cool uh, and, and it, I also have to say like without even putting a moisturizer yet it felt really really moisturizing like it didn't feel like it stripped of away anything that like your skin needs and my skin really felt nice Number three is body wash. So body wash I'm using in here is actually from Kiehl's. This is their grapefruit body cleanser. So this one also has plant protein in it, so it's very good for your skin. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say like it's like the best thing in the world or anything, but it's just because I also showed it in my last video, uh, I decided to not make a waste. Definitely not make a waste, guys. So I wanted to use it. So this is actually one of my uh, not what my first time because I have used it at the gym, but my first time actually using it at home So it was pretty good. I have to say but you guys also will probably see it in a video I really had to apply a lot to just get like bubbling white Effect and it was just kind of felt like a lotion at first because it wasn't really 
it wasn't getting that bubble uh, body wash feeling, I have to say. I, you really have to use it a lot to get that. So number four in here, this is something that I will say that like I'm not I don't do this every day. This is something I recently started doing it. So I'm using products in here from Clarence. They're body scrub and also body oil. Uh, this is scent complimentary from Clarence. So thanks Clarence for sending me these products. Um, I have to say even if they didn't send these products, I was checking reviews and everything, researching and everything. I have to say even the scrub itself, like life changing really really life-changing it really felt like my skin has never felt like before it really afterwards using both of these products but like scrub itself like it really felt like it took away anything that my i don't know my skin felt so like clean afterwards i have to say because like especially because like you can use it in your joints and everything like in your knees like on your like elbows and everything so it really is good uh for you for that but just limited for two maximum two times a week because you don't want your skin to get super sensitive and that will affect you over time other thing i use afterwards is like body oil so this body oil uh, a lot of people because it depends on the brand so they sometimes apply it after the shower so this one is like you have to apply it to a damp skin so you apply it to a damp skin then you shower so this one after using this one is that like your skin literally feels like you have been into this like luxury spa that you paid like maybe i don't know 200 bucks or something it really does feel like that your skin i i don't think my skin uh, even using both of these products ever felt like that before i don't think i have ever tried a spa i don't think i have ever tried a spa i don't think so <laughs> so i was saying like it really felt just amazing um I think it's something that you should to totally try this time and I have seen it that like and I'm gonna try to see I will let you guys know over time this really also helped with like stretch marks uh, in case like you had weight loss or like weight gain so like it shows up here in your arms or like anywhere in your body pregnancy anything like that it really does help I have seen so many reviews about it so I am excited to see how it will help for me because I think I do have uh, some stretch marks not in here but actually in my back because I got slightly <laughs> bulkier I guess uh, before I was skinnier so it really um, I want to see how that will affect in there so i will keep you guys posted but i have to say both of these products it's just like amazing overall uh, i would definitely definitely recommend these all right guys so that was the video for today uh, i hope you guys like this routine if you do uh please make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm putting all the affiliate links down below and thanks clients again for sending me these products and i'll see you guys next week bye